residents in Vidoc, Tolopeo, Woodlands, Tampanese and Jerome West played games and caught fireworks displays, with the National Day festivities brought closer to their homes on Sunday evening. Prime Minister Li Xinlong celebrated with residents and grassroots leaders at ActiveSG Tolopeo Sports Centre as part of the Get Active. Singapore Heartland Festivals ahead of the nation's 58th birthday on August 9. He was joined by Defence Minister Ying Ying Hen, Minister of State for Education and Manpower Gon Sai Huang, Minister in the Prime Minister's Office Indrani Roja and grassroots leaders as they caught the 10-minute fireworks display. Earlier in the evening, PM Lee visited the game's booths and joined residents who were playing Giant Jenga, a game of balance involving wooden blocks. Visitors gathered around the Prime Minister as he posed for pictures with them. The ticketed event drew an estimated 63,000 people across the five locations on Saturday and Sunday. The event was held at the sports centres in Toa Peo, Woodlands, Jerome West and Bidok on both days, and at our Tampanese hub on Sunday. This year's event focused on sports and encouraged participants to take part in athletic events and play games such as basketball, table tennis, as well as get involved in other activities like sobbing, where a person climbs inside a large inflatable ball and rolls about. Organized by the National Day Parade NDP, 2023 Heartland Celebrations Committee and Sport Singapore Sport SG. The activities were supported by a team of 1,800 volunteers from National Sport Volunteer Movement Team Mila and personnel from the Army, among others. Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong was among seven political leaders who visited the Active SG Woodlands Sports Centre on Sunday. He spent about an hour there playing football and table tennis with young people. With the crowd cheering him on, he also pulled dance moves to loud applause. Addressing residents, he said 2023's Heartland celebration was made possible by the contributions of many volunteers from grassroots groups and Team Nila and the National Day Parade Organizing Committee and Sport SG. Mr. Wong added, we are doing this so that we can encourage everyone not just to celebrate National Day together, but also to stay active and roll in healthier SG, if you have not done so. Keep active, stay healthy, and we can all look forward to a healthier and better Singapore as we celebrate National Day next week. Healthier SG is Singapore's major preventative care strategy that aims to help residents take charge of their health. It was formally launched on July 5, starting with Singapore citizens and permanent residents aged 60 and above. The sports activities were a hit with residents like Ms Jasmine Lee, who took part in the trampoline fitness session at the Woodland Sports Centre with her five-year-old daughter Aurea Wu. The 40-year-old housewife who attends trampoline fitness classes wanted her daughter to experience it as well. The sports tryout stations are very good for families and children to try out different sports so that they know what they like. Miss Lee said, adding that such events are a positive alternative to staying indoors and playing video games. She said she had signed up her nine-year-old son for table tennis classes after he fell in love with the sport after trying it at a community sports event. Meanwhile, Madam Mural Ani Hussein, 40, rallied 16 members of her family and friends to attend the event at Toa Peo Sports Centre. Aside from enjoying the National Day festivities, they also celebrated the birthdays of three family members, including Madam Mural's son, who turned one in July. We've never gathered for National Day like this before. It was a fun way to celebrate my family members' birthdays too. She said. Madam Mary Joseph, 48, and her 10-year-old son were also at the Toa Peo Sports Center, where two of her older children were volunteers at the event. We don't usually get tickets 
to attend a National Day Parade, so it's nice to be able to be here and join in," said the housewife. At the same center, retiree Chia Guan Hui relived childhood memories with her husband as they played hopscotch at the stations which featured compound games. Madam Chia, 72, said her family has been attending the National Day festivities in the heartland every year. My husband and I swim twice a week and always go for walks. So I'm glad we can enjoy these activities," she said in Mandarin. Production technician Nesherudan Rockman, 35, said the carnival's focus on sports and games encouraged his eight-year-old son to get active. Mr. Nesherudan, who looked after his 14-month-old daughter while his wife took their son to the Bouncy Castle, said, as a father, I feel happy that he can run around and play. Otherwise, he will be at home and playing with the tablet or phone. Residents can look forward to more festivities in the neighborhoods on Wednesday, even as fireworks light up Marina Bay and the Podal, where the main show will be held. Among other things, Republic of Singapore Air Force aircraft, including a fleet of fighter jets and helicopters, will fly over the five neighborhoods between 5.30 p.m. and 6.30 p.m.